Hi everybody, it's Tamara. Let's grab a weight plate for this workout segment. Upright pick up for this exercise. We're connecting a deadlift and a shoulder press together to create one fluid compound exercise. Start with your feet at shoulder width apart and drop into your deadlift with parallel feet. Lift up, raising your plate to the chest and then follow through all the way to your shoulder press. Steady negative return towards the ground and continue your next repetition. Your turn to try this one. This exercise is squat with knee strikes. Hold the weight plate at your chest and work your way into a traditional squat. Once you get back to the top, throw a knee strike to the side and drop back into your squat. Alternate the knee strikes between your squats. Let's do this for the next minute. Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises.
Let's start this exercise by dropping down into a wide V squat and holding your static position. With your elbows tucked by your side, let's work some bicep hammer curls from the isometric squat base. Very important to avoid height adjustments throughout this set. Have a go at this one for yourself. This exercise is a front delts raise. Standing with your feet at shoulder width apart, raise your extended arms in front of you until you can see beneath your weight plate. Drop your soft straight arms back down in a steady and controlled motion. Neutral hand grip position and protecting your wrists throughout the motion. It's your turn to try this set of front delts raise. <laughs> Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises.
Piston row is similar to a bent over row except that it's a lighter weight plate and much faster movement. Bending your knees and posturing forward with neutral spine to get started. Let's keep your legs static and pull up some high pace rows from here. Keep your elbows tucked in by your side and maintain control of your upper body. You should feel your lats and biceps really burn by the end of this set. Crush grip press is a squeeze of the chest and biceps to retain holding of the weight plate. Press forward, extending your arms to feel the weight transfer to your shoulders. Pull the weight plate back towards your chest with elbows out to the side. Have a go at this one. Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises. We are doing an amplified wall sit for this exercise by placing the weight plate on our horizontal thighs to create extra weight. Knees should be bent at 90 degrees and your hands can rest on the weight plate. Let's hold this pose for the next minute. Your turn.
This exercise is bridge press. Lying in supine position, lift your hips into glutes bridge to start the exercise. Hold up your isometric bridge while getting through the set of chest presses. Don't drop your hips as you tire throughout your set. Full range of chest press from start to finish. Your turn. Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises. This exercise is weighted glutes bridge. Lying face up with your weight plate resting on your hips, use your hands to support your weight plate as you lift into a glutes bridge. A little pause at the top as you squeeze your glutes will amplify this exercise. You try it.
We are doing a weighted side plank for this exercise. Start with either your feet stacked together or top foot in front of bottom foot the way I'm demonstrating. The weight plate sits on your hip to create additional weight and amplify the exercise. Make sure you maintain a straight body line from shoulder to ankle for the duration of this set. Have a go. Let's rest and repeat the last two exercises. Thank you. 
Well done for getting through your workout today. Let's take a moment to stretch our muscles and cool down. See you again very soon.